Ball, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary, and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the second group stage match here at Euro 2024 for the two teams. It's Denmark against England. Well, thanks, Derek. These fans will be hoping for another good display today. They played really well in that opener. This should be an excellent game. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Ericsson. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. And did just enough defensively. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Simon Kerr plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Christian Eriksen starts alongside Pierre Emil Heubier in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Alexander Arnold. Now with Shaw. Dangerous ball. And I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Well, looking at the table, it might be a celebratory occasion for the home fans because they know their heroes could clinch a place in the knockout stages and with games to spare, Stuart. Yeah, it doesn't matter what goes on elsewhere. Play well, get the three points, and they're through. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Strong hand on that one. And the clearance over the byline means a corner. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen and clearing his lines Christensen it's with Jens Striger Larsen still looking for space oh did so well to deny him no nonsense clearance Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, over the years he scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches him and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper and we know what the result is. That'll be a Denmark ball. Christian Eriksen now. No foul play, says the referee. That's a lovely ball. And the referee playing advantage. Walker, now Harry Kane, passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead, Walker, now the attack fizzled out, the referee knew that was foul play, but he's got to score, goalkeeping on the high Order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. And over from Ericsson. Throw in for Denmark. Hoybier. <laughs> Chance to finish. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And England being afforded too much space. Not the most confident clearance. Shaw. Really well positioned. Can he get them in front? 
spot on with that tackle. Lindstrom. Attacking with vigour. The cross is on. It could be a smart stop here. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Well, no way through in the end. Those stats really do paint the picture. So many chances, but yet little end product. But surely the breakthrough's coming. That's a routine take. Walker failed to hold it. Out of play, England throw in coming up. Harry Kane. Walker now. Kyle Walker with the delivery. And cleared away. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Mele. Fukai Osaka. This is looking threatening. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Christian Nurgard. Kea has it. Rasmus Hoilun. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Christensen. Committed challenge. And threading it through. Lindström and the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute and there it is the half-time whistle Just hasn't been able to get going at all, has he, Jude Bellingham? We know he's capable of so much better. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder, and unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the score. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Rasmus Hoilun. Options in the middle. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Well, a bit short with the clearance. No defensive resilience there. And England with acres of space out wide. But they took care of the situation defensively. 
More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Oh, heading it narrowly over the top. He did what he had to do defensively. Foden. And a tidy ball. Mohamed Darami. Jesper Lindström. Here's Christensen. An effective challenge. Foden. Distributing it well. Great opportunity. Just fractionally wide. So unfortunate. And time for the change now. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Released it nicely. Can he put them ahead? Determined defending. A very effective clearance. Now well, here's a match coming up on EA TV that I think you're going to want to join us for. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Going short. Targets available. Cross comes in. Oh, and he didn't miss. by very much yeah he adjusted his body so well there it's a great piece of skill and it probably deserved the goal and that's an important intervention Christian Eriksen now Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. And nothing comes of this attack. Here's Luke Shaw. Now with Rashford. right out of the top drawer it's absolutely remarkable his reflexes were brilliant there promising pass Rashford now with Kane just looking for the right moment for that final pass Rashford Cross could be useful danger averted can they forge ahead well, they would have done, and a penalty awarded, spot kick coming up. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes, a penalty. And he finds the net, no difficulties encountered. Well, here it is again, he makes it look so easy. The keeper dives slightly early, and he passes it into the other side. Really confident finish. Here's Luke Shaw. And Bellingham. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Jonas Vint. 
And the emphasis is on creativity. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Rashford can be problematic for opposing defenders. Well, there's the pullback. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, pressing really high. Superb effort to keep it in. Kea. Morten Hulman. And Christensen. Kea has it. Mele. It's with Jens Striger Larsen. A tremendous vision on the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something for and the keeper has outdone himself. Well, that's such an important save. Surely the game is theirs now. Time is not on the side. This corner could help their prospects as they look for an equaliser. Mohamed Darami. Distributing it well. Sloppy in possession from England here. Well, that was incisive. Can he play it in? Well, trailing here, but a corner it is. Over it comes. Well, still an issue here. And the move breaks down. Room to roam on the wing for England. Chances on. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Christensen. Christian Eriksen now. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. England using width to good effect here. And players waiting in the centre. Rashford. Played into the centre. Chance maybe. Well, no damage done. And the final whistle is sounded. England victorious.